Here's today's word for the day. God requires complete obedience from his children because partial obedience is still disobedience. God requires his children to obey him absolutely because partial obedience is still disobedience. I take you to 1 Samuel chapter 15. God instructs King Saul to go and completely destroy the Amalekite nation, the king, the children, the men, the women, the cattle, the donkeys. And Saul and his men go and take the land and they take the bounty, but they don't destroy everything. They bring back some of the goods. And God sends his prophet and priest Samuel to go talk to Saul. And, and, and Saul will come up with a ridiculous excuse. He says that we left these things to sacrifice unto God. And the prophet and priest will say, does God delight in sacrifices and burnt offerings and as much as he delights in obedience? And, and the prophet and priest will follow with these words, to obey is better than sacrifice. Friend, to obey God is better than sacrifice. What is it that God has asked you to do in this season? Our life of faith, our journey of faith must be characterized by obedience to God. God wants us to walk in obedience because that is how he's able to honor his word. That is how he's able to shower his blessings. That is how his purposes are fulfilled. When we walk in obedience, are you walking in obedience or do you need to make some adjustments? Friend, walk in obedience and see the goodness of God in your life. God bless you. I'm Pastor Frederick Madsen from Rima International Bible Church here in Silver Spring, Maryland. If you're ever visiting our area, join us for Sunday worship. Otherwise, continue following us on our social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. And please help us share this word with your community so that everybody is walking in obedience to God. God bless you. God willing, I'll be back again with another word for the day.